take a look at Tesla. It's at 149 right now. Year to date, well, it is down about almost 40%. What is going on? Another 52 week low. So news that more than 3,000 cyber trucks are being recalled. Jay Woods is with us, Chief Global Strategist, Freedom Capital Markets. Good to see you. Thank you Good for be being here, here Jay. Um, let's start with Tesla. It's been, it was a, certainly a family favorite. It's in the index, you know. Uh, what's going on here? It's one of the most talked about stocks all the time. You have Elon Musk leading the way and uh, They've been uh, coming out with headlines that have got a lot of people puzzled. Uh, you know, for years, uh, we traded this on anticipation of the next big thing that they're going to roll out. And now we're seeing some bumps in the road. Uh, you mentioned the Cybertruck today was, you know, delayed uh, or having some recalls. Well, before the recalls, there were delays in rolling it out. The charge, which was supposed to be 500 miles per charge, only came out at 340. And then it the uh, the price point was much higher than people anticipated. So there's a delay in rolling it out. Then when they did, uh, it didn't meet what people had hoped. So there are a lot of questions. And then last week, uh, Reuters had reported through Twitter that uh, you know the Model 2 may not be happening. That rollout may be delayed or not yeah. happen at all. Elon Musk just replied, that's a lie. We haven't heard anything back. So we need to get a little more clearance and guidance from Elon Musk. And when are we going to get that? Hopefully on Tuesday's earnings call as yeah. everything points to earnings. Let's break this down. There were no injuries or accidents because of this recall of the cyber truck. We are just being very cautious. Any thoughts on the, the details of this recall and what it could mean? For Tesla. Well, it's just, like I said, another bump in the road. We don't know what it means, but, uh, you know, that rollout continues to, to be slow. And then those wanting to pay that higher price point, they're going to see a story mm -hmm. like this. They're yeah. Like, you know what? Maybe I'll wait. Uh, they want to see this thing tested, road tested a little right. more often. Um, and then you, you talk about the other rollouts that have been delayed. Um, the, yeah. the semi, the Tesla semi, that was supposed to be a big revolutionary idea. They've only rolled out one. Uh, we haven't seen it. And now he talks about autonomous driving. Uh, Elon just tweeted on 8-8, August 8th of this year, they're going to announce uh, their robo taxi. Well, yeah. usually that causes the stock to rally and, and it didn't this time. Yeah, and we have a lot of names coming up. But just to have a clarification, folks, on the cyber trucks, um, the pedal problem, that is the issue with the cyber truck. Cyber truck accelerator pedal pad might dislodge and get trapped, causing the vehicle to accelerate unintentionally and increasing the risk of crash. And that's why he gave that response. In other words, they're, they are not aware of any crashes, but that this is uh, proactive on their part. But 3,878, 3,878 vehicles being recalled. So that's tough. That's another headline that Tesla doesn't need. So next week, you know, people are saying they want to hear more from him pertaining to the future and the plans. And, um, you know, I had a great conversation with Hatem Diab from Gerber Kawasaki. And I said, I guess he's got to put on his big boy pants and really spill it out. And he, he, he said, no chance. You're being crazy almost if you, he didn't say crazy, but don't yeah. even think about it. Mm -hmm. he, um, Dan Ives was so disappointed in the last call because again he just he didn't give any sort of clarification on the future let's get to some of the other names so tuesday is tesla we'll also hear from verizon but sticking to the the names in the um you know the the magnificent meta google microsoft are wednesday and thursday some thoughts on those names yeah do you I mean, like any of these I, I i like them over the long term but what we're seeing in this earnings cycle which just began for the first week this full week is stocks that are beating uh, look at Netflix today. That was a mm -hmm. solid quarter. It doesn't rally. They're, so for these stocks to rally to take a next leg higher, I don't know what the street expects to see from them. And technically, they're, everything's a little toppy, as we've seen. The S&P 500 yeah. is now pulled back officially 5%. We broke 5,000. So we want to see strong leadership. And this is where you're going to see it, these big three names, and then the video two weeks later. But what we want to see is a beat and strong guidance because we haven't been getting that consistent guidance upbeat story uh mm -hmm. so that is what we're going to look for and right. you know microsoft being the largest stock out there that yeah. that's going to be the one to watch look and i just looked up for example meta and microsoft and google are all just off 
their highs that yeah. they've hit recently. So um, they've all done, you know, pretty well. I'll, I'll say. I mean, Tesla is a different story. When you think about what's going on in the reaction of the market today, really shrugging off um, Israel's strike on Iran, that retaliation that was somewhat limited. Yeah. And maybe do we think it's over? Is that why the market is managing to sort of shake it off? Or, well, I, I don't or is know. this just the beginning I, of more? Uh, well, those geopolitical clouds are going to be over the market for a little yeah. longer. And being a Friday like last Friday, it wouldn't surprise me to see a little bit of a sell-off, people lighting up right. going into the weekend, still uncertainty. Is this the end? No, I, I, I don't think so. But will it escalate much larger? That's the big question. So over the weekend, what I watch is Bitcoin because there's really nothing else to watch. And that has been that was the tell last week when we saw the missiles in the air and the, and the currency sold off and then we rallied back. The, the thing I don't like every day this week, the S&P 500 has opened mm -hmm. higher and then closed lower. Yeah. Uh, if this market is going to sell off let's you know we, we, we want to just rip the band-aid off wash it out and go and we are hoping that this isn't going to escalate but every sell-off the psychology has changed it's not a buy the dip mentality it's a sell the rip and uh so we'll be concerned we'll be watching the tape over the weekend uh, and then hope that earnings season will be the catalyst right. that can take us back to those highs. Look, we, we've had higher yields. Um, we've gotten in the inflation data in Japan and Germany. Procter & Gamble, American Express, Schlumberger, Regions Financial are some of the names that we're watching today. It's also options expiration today. So you folks can expect a busy uh, close, right? Yeah. Oh, Final we, thoughts? We talked about that on our morning call. Uh, just definitely uh, should be a busier close. Uh, you mentioned Procter & Gamble. That was solid, but it's not following through. American Express, solid today, not following through. Stocks in the financial industry that did well, like a right. Goldman Sachs, um, they never got back to those 52-week highs. So watch, as you mentioned, astutely Microsoft near those 52-week highs. Yeah. That, to me, if that can change, maybe the narrative changes right now. But uh, the psychology seems to be sell these rallies until uh, otherwise posted. Jay Woods, Chief Global Strategist, Freedom Capital Markets. Great to see you. Thank you so much for being with us, Jay.